Hey Guardians, I just want to let everyone know that I do have both a Twitch and a Twitter, and I'm very active on both. Feel free to come give me a follow on both, links in the description. There's been a lot of discussion the past few months about weapon crafting in Destiny 2, specifically whether or not weapon crafting has hurt Destiny 2's loot incentive by virtue of crafting guaranteeing a god roll on top of the potency of enhanced perks. The more popular consensus I've seen is that crafting has killed loot incentive for weapons that can only get random rolls, but I'm going to detract from this a bit and say that crafting hasn't hurt loot incentive, the RNG in this game has. Let me explain. Destiny 2 has very, very punishing RNG. As an example, let's take a look at the Adept Igneous Hammer. I used the calculator for this that another D2 gamer created, linked to where you can find it in the description, to calculate the chances of a perfect roll. So you have 9 barrel options, 8 magazine options, 5 perks in the 3rd column, 5 perks in the 4th column, and 4 masterwork options. On any roll of an Adept Igneous Hammer, the roll will have two options in the barrel column, two in the magazine column, one in the third column, two in the fourth, and of course only one masterwork. This means that the perfect 5 out of 5 roll you want only has a 0.06% chance of dropping. That is a less than one tenth of 1% chance of a god roll. Let's take a look at a couple of other examples. The Matador 64, probably the best legendary PvP shotgun in the energy slot. The Matador has 6 barrel options, 7 magazine options, 6 options in the 3rd column, 6 in the 4th, and the usual 4 masterworks. A Matador drop will have 2 options to choose from in the barrel column, 2 in the magazine column, 1 in the 3rd, 1 in the 4th, and 1 masterwork. A perfect Matador has a 0.13% chance of dropping. That is still well under the 1% mark. Okay, quick editor's note on the Matador uh, chances there and on the next weapon we're talking about. I actually unfortunately entered in the numbers incorrectly in the calculator. I put in the calculator that you'd have two options in per column number two, or as I usually refer to it just because it makes more sense to me, per column number four, the one with opening shot, Matador will never roll with two options there. It will roll with one. So the chances of getting that roll that you want are not actually 0.13%, it's 0.07%, which is actually somehow even worse. But continuing on, and on top of that, the Matador has the best chance of dropping from the Ogre Encounter in Grasp of Avarice, which can drop Matador, Leg Armor, or a class item, which means the shotgun has a 1 in 3 chance of dropping in the first place, on top of that 0.13%. So if you've been one of the folks who's killed the Grasp Ogre literally hundreds of times, and you're wondering why your god roll hasn't dropped, there's your answer. And it can get worse, much, much worse, depending on the activity. As a last example, if you were to ask me what the best legendary PvP shotgun in the game is, I would say it's Fractithus, due to it having quick draw and opening shot, as well as slide shot and opening shot. The only place you can get Fractithus outside of the off chance of Zer bringing it is from the weekly rotating dares weapon pool. Frack has the same number of perks in each column as the Matador, so once again you have that 0.13% chance of a perfect roll dropping. On top of that, there are 10 other weapons available in the weapon pool, plus old armor as well, so your chances of it even dropping in the first place at all aren't exactly great either. And don't even get me started on the weapons from the Ritual playlist because, I mean, look at the size of these perk pools. Even with the bonus perks from rank resets with Zavala, Shax, or Drifter. One more quick editor's note here. Here's some additional examples. Time Lost Found Verdict, 0.13% chance. Adept Eye of Soul, 0.07%. Undercurrent Adept, 0.32%. Indebted Kindness, 0.07%, and the list goes on and on and on. Your chances aren't exactly good. Now compare this experience to weapon crafting. Getting those red borders is still going to take time, getting them can be frustrating, but at the very least you have the knowledge that at the end you are going to be guaranteed the role you want. This means that when you're getting those seasonal weapons crafted, even if the seasonal activity is absolutely awful, you know you're not wasting your time because eventually you will be guaranteed the role that you want. Back in Season of the Haunted, I spent that whole first week doing basically nothing but farming Nightmare Containment because I wanted to craft Ostringer. 
Nightmare Containment was an activity that got boring very, very quickly. I was completely sick of it by the second day, but I still knew it was time well spent because of once I got those five red borders, I was guaranteed a god roll Ostringer. Activities with crafted weapons, whether that's raids or seasonal activities, feel like they value your time because at some point you will be able to make sure you have a way of getting that god roll. Compare that to activities with loot drops that only have random rolls, where your chances of getting that roll are also well under 1%. Take a look at this screenshot posted by Panda on Twitter, when you can have entire vault pages full of a one specific weapon without a single god roll, it means that the RNG in this game is broken. This is only quantified by the fact that so many different weapons do not have any way of curbing the RNG. You can only focus one Adept Trials weapon from Saint per card, and drops from wins on a 7 win card are still inconsistent. There is no way to target Matador on the Ogre Encounter. There is no way to target a roll or even just one or two perks of a roll on Matador. You can't even focus weapons from the Dare's loot pool if you want to go specifically for something like Fractithist, which is a shame because the rotating Dare's pools have some fantastic weapons in them. The result of this is when you spend an entire weekend farming trials or multiple days farming grasp and you don't get a god roll, you end up feeling like the game is wasting your time. Crafting is the exact opposite. When you know that eventually you're going to be guaranteed a god roll, it feels like your time and effort is actually valued, which is so very important in a game like Destiny that can get very grindy. When the last wish weapons became craftable, I sat on a Kali checkpoint with an LFG team for over 12 hours. I only wanted Nation of Beasts, it was, of course, the last weapon I got crafted after that 12 hours, but unlike other activities that only have random rolls where I can spend more than that amount of time and not get the roll I want, I didn't finish out that night annoyed and frustrated because I knew I had Nation of Beasts craftable and I knew I was going to be able to make myself that god roll. The worst part is there are plenty of ways Bungie could fix this. Focusing, for example, is one of the best things they've ever done to loot in this game. But it could and needs to be expanded on. Imagine if you could focus weapons from the rotating pool in Dares at Sir or the Star Horse. If I could focus Fractithus from the Star Horse, I'd be in Dares every week it's in rotation. Imagine if you could focus Retold Tail, still one of the best PvP shotguns in the game, from Petra in the Dreaming City. If that were the case, I might actually have a reason to run Dreaming City activities again. Another good thing Bungie did was making it so that resets with the Ritual Playlist vendors adds extra perks to weapons. They could expand on this too. There is absolutely no reason resetting your rank with Saint shouldn't get you more perks on non-adept Trials weapons. They could also add loot targeting options. Imagine if when you selected Grasp, if a screen came up that gave you the option to target certain weapons or armor pieces at the different encounters. Such as, you could select the option to increase the chances of a matador dropping at the ogre encounter over the chances of armor dropping. They could also add the option to increase the chances of one or two perks on a weapon dropping, such as when you buy a trials card from Saint on a weekend Igneous is up, you could pick a perk in any column that is guaranteed to drop on that weapon once you go flawless and from adept drops from winning matches. If we had more options to curb the brutal RNG in this game, people would have way more incentive to grind for loot with random rolls. We already have some of these options with armor, with how you can select ghost mods to guarantee a high roll on a stat that you value. If they gave us options to increase the drop chances of a particular weapon we want, or the ability to target specific rolls or perks, it would make grinding for random drops way less of a slog and way less frustrating. The reality is that most people don't want to spend potentially days on a specific dungeon or raid encounter. Most people don't want to spend an entire weekend doing nothing but trials, praying for the role they want on a weapon. This is something that would ultimately benefit everyone. 
I am a PvP main. I don't want to spend dozens, if not hundreds of hours in a dungeon trying to get a specific weapon roll. And I highly doubt that most PvE mains want to spend an entire weekend in trials trying to get a god roll trace rifle or grenade launcher. It gets frustrating, and it ends up borderline ruining certain activities a lot of times because it feels like they don't value your time and effort. I haven't run Grasp in months because I got so goddamn sick of staring at that ogre for hours on end. The fact is, most people have activities in this game that they enjoy more than others, and when we have to farm something we don't necessarily love for the sake of a weapon that drops, be it a Trials Weekend or a GM or whatever, the goal is to try to get that roll as quickly as possible so we can get back to the parts of the game we actually want to spend time in. This would just make trying to get roles that we want infinitely less frustrating. Even as a PvP main, I don't like Trials. It's a terrible mode where all the worst parts of Destiny's PvP come out in full force. I usually outright will not play Trials unless Igneous is up. But if I knew I had a realistic chance of getting roles that I wanted on other weapons without consuming an entire weekend playing Trials, I'd probably spend more time in Trials. At some point, this needs to be addressed badly. If Bungie wants people to value random rolled weapons to the same degree that they do craftable ones, then they need to make them way less of a slog to get, and they need to do so on an exponential level. So this might be a hot take, but no, I do not think that crafting has hurt Destiny's loot incentive. The ridiculously punishing RNG in this game has done more damage to loot incentive than crafting ever could, because crafting feels like it values my time and encounter farming does not. Anyway, Guardians, that's all for me tonight. This is just a topic that's been kind of weighing on my mind for a while. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. As always, do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. Leave me a like and a comment, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, Guardians.